Taurus, what's up? What's poppin', baby? It's your boy from Kids with Sarah coming at you guys with your February 15th through the 28th Love's Air reading, alright? Let's take a look and see what's poppin' for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Bowl. So hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below, baby, alright? Let's take a look and see what's happening. It may resonate, may not. If it does, amazing. If it's not your reading, don't apply it to yourself. It's gonna be the worst thing for you, okay? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, February 15th through the 28th. Let's take a look and see what's happening here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, February 15th through the 28th. If it feels like I'm rushing you, I got a lot to do, and it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Taurus, energy between you and another person. Hello, Wheel of Fortune. Can be connecting with fixed energy, acquiring Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. But the Wheel of Fortune, this is stuff that is finally going in your favor, okay? Let's take a look and see what's happening. Yeah, it's been slow. I feel like life's been slow, love's been slow, everything's been slow. But I feel like this is somebody who's starting to put more faith and more belief into the universe, realizing that if you trust the universe and have a little bit of faith in it, you're going to receive and reap the benefits, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups and the Queen of um, pentacles as well this is you slowly but strongly building your belief system um, this is probably you going through a spiritual awakening. You could have been a skeptic person in the past and uh, not believed in law of attraction, not believed in third eye, not believed in specific meditation, right? Um, but as you slowly started uh, realizing, slowly started awakening um, and seeing the world for what it is, you started realizing that there's so much love in the world. I feel like this is a shift in consciousness. This is really not going to be a love read. I'm sorry, guys. Put it this way. Disclaimer. This isn't a love read. So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't apply it to you, okay? There may be some love aspects um, later on in the video, but from what I'm seeing so far, it's going to be very spiritual, okay? Now, you're starting to realize all the love around you in this world. You're starting to realize this is a 5D level of consciousness. Wow. Realizing that love is everything. Everything is love. Everything around you is love. And being open to receiving love in your life and abundance in your life. Um, this is you just recognizing how beautiful the world is because you're shifting your perceptions from seeing a disgusting, crappy world that most people see every day they walk in and live in and seeing something beautiful. Seeing just plants and looking at the beauty of nature. Seeing animals and the beauty of life, right? Um, could have recently gone vegan here for somebody here as well, right? But at the end of the day, this is just seeing the beauty in the world and putting your trust and intent into the universe so much more to the point where you are going to start receiving everything you've been manifesting. This is beautiful, okay? You're killing your old ways of thinking and transforming into new ways of thinking that is going to be favorable for you. Now, let's take a look and dive a little bit deeper on what's going on for my bull game, please. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 15th to the 28th. Let's take a look at their career and what's going on with their career. Woo! Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You've been putting in that work, baby. So Taurus, you guys are in an energy right now in regards to your career, focusing, putting in a lot of work, doing the best that you possibly can to get everything that you want. And when you put in hard work and you be creative, what do you get? You get a new beginning. For some of you, you recently could have found a new, or you recently could have discovered or found a new passion about your life. Um, in regards to this kind of passion, from what I'm seeing here, it's something that's overall making you happy. So this could have been a new passion you were having, whether this is somebody, possibly somebody dabbling in the craft. You could be doing tarot. Um, but from what I'm seeing here, you have a new passion for a new job, okay? Or a new life path that you want to take, or a new career path, per se, that you want to take. You're feeling very passionate. You're working towards it. You're being honest with yourself, and you're enduring the strength. You're enduring the ups downs bads faults and everything this is like a fucking transformation god Taurus, why y'all so woke this month god damn this is you understanding that no matter what happens in life this is just a regular spiritual message no matter what happens in life you are realizing that there's going to be ups you're realizing that there's going to be downs but you have to be honest and mindful with yourself and you're explaining and telling yourself that you are strong you're a very strong-hearted individual you're a very powerful individual and you are empowering yourself letting you know that no matter what i'm going through i will get back up i will pick myself back up the way these cards laid out it was awesome you're gonna keep giving chances okay because you know what's so beautiful you know that you have to fail to succeed so after every failure you have whether it's in career whether it's in love whether it's in anything that you're doing right now you pick yourself back up because you know that success doesn't come overnight okay you know that you have to fail to succeed the more mistakes you make the more you learn from them and then the more you become better at whatever it is you're doing i like this energy for you guys all right career over let's take a look at your love life okay Taurus, sun moon rising and venus signs february 15th through the 28th yes so basically these readings are always going to be love readings but just for you guys it's it's a special kind of calling for you okay Taurus, sun moon rising and venus february 15th through the 28th in regards to love let's take a look all right so I feel like in regards to love, um, you're definitely in an energy right now where I feel like you're kind of seeking the balance of life. 
okay? King of Wands to the Page of Wands to the Page of Pentacles. For some Tauruses out here, because this is not going to be for every Taurus, it's a pretty scattered read, but for some Tauruses out here, um, with this energy, you may have met somebody new recently who you kind of not necessarily befriended, but um, you're just in the talking phase where you guys are flirting, you guys are chatting around, you guys are having little interests and being cute and seeing where it goes, okay? Now, for the other Tauruses here that are possibly in a relationship, um, I'm seeing that relationship start to develop on such a deeper level uh, moving into February, okay? Especially after Valentine's Day, Taurus. Um, with this energy, you guys are becoming very grounded one another. And also, if you're starting a new career, your partner is really supporting you here with the Six of Pentacles. Um, your partner is definitely really supporting you here, Taurus, is what I'm seeing, because they want to see you succeed. Um, and it does feel like if you're in a relationship as well, this is the kind of couple that wants to motivate one another. These are the kind of couples that not only want to motivate one another, but they want one another to succeed and grow, but not grow individually to grow together, okay? Is what I'm seeing overall. Wow, okay. So for the Tauruses that are single, y'all just talking to somebody new and the ones in a relationship, it's like you guys are pushing each other to succeed and create the best life you possibly can. And all due to that, the Tower card, because of a spiritual awakening. So for the Tauruses that are dating, you're waking your partner up too and you guys are moving forward in this 5D frequency. I like this. For the Tauruses that are single, you're doing your thing right now, flirting around. But overall, one of the biggest energies here is that spiritual awakening. Realizing that you can do anything you want, that the world is limitless. Limitless. Absolutely whatever you want. Okay? All right. Let's take a look and see what's happening and what's coming in for you, where these energies are aligning. All right? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 15th through the 28th. Let's take a look here. All right. There we go. You're moving out of that phase, baby. I love it. You're moving out of the phase of depression. You're moving out of the phase of negative times. So you're becoming a more empowered person. Five of Cups all the way to the Queen of Wands. You're letting go of your sadness, your faults, everything you feel guilty for. You're leaving the past in the past so that you can move forward and live in the present moment. With the Queen of Wands energy being present to us, you're very focused right now on embodying a powerful version of you. This is so beautiful. It really is. For some right now, Taurus, if you guys are, you know, single and just into the ladies, you're in a period of time in which you're flirting around, having fun. But Knight of Cups, too, I feel like you're offering a lot of love to yourself, as well as offering a lot of love to the world, okay? For some, you guys are true uh, true light workers here in a period of time in which you want to raise the vibration of the earth. You want to show everybody love as much as you possibly can, okay? As for the overall outcome for your month, guys, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February 15th to the 28th. Let's take a look. Oh my God. See, choose your path. That's it. It's all about choosing your path. Remember Taurus, the tower came, the spiritual awakening came, but now what path are we going to walk? Are you going to end the old part of your life and move forward? Because that's what I'm seeing here. This is all about becoming a better version of you and a completely different version of you. It's almost as if you're stripping yourself from the old you, the old ego, and kind of creating this new beautiful or identifying more with this new beautiful version of yourself. So at the end of the day, Ten of Swords to the Two of Wands, you're killing the old you and embracing the new one. And you're doing it in such a beautiful way. Um, you're in an energy where you know that you can create and you have the power to create absolutely anything and everything you want. And you're so focused on right now, uh, your passions, your career, helping other people, spreading love to the world, um, instead of spreading hate. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, not the love aspect isn't the biggest part, but there are probably a bunch of single Tauruses out here just having fun, talking to other people. And for the ones that are in relationships, you both are empowering one another to succeed. That's beautiful energy. At the end of the day, this is you being open. Ask, believe, and you shall receive. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Taurus, awesome read, guys. I know it's a little bit quick, but I got a lot of stuff to do today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. I know it's not a love read. I'm sorry about that. But of course, we got March coming up, baby, and I'm getting into those readings real soon, okay? Take care, have a great one, and I'll catch you guys in March 2019, all right? Peace.